All right, it is 9.47. We're in the body shop, and we both just finished an hour of working out. And that's what we like to do. Late night cardio sesh. So, uh, busy day. Like, we're getting ready for the baby to come, and that's a lot of, like, little odd jobs around the house. So, Chris and I were bouncing back and forth between coaching classes and just being in the gym. Um, I got my workout in this afternoon, but she missed out on hers. So I came home and she's like, ah, I can go to work out. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna let you go and do it alone. So I had to do an hour long bike, came in and just did an hour of cardio. Sometimes it's, it doesn't need to be fast. It doesn't need to be glamorous. It just needs to get done. And if you can find somebody to do it with, it's always better. Tomorrow's our four year wedding anniversary, which is crazy. And as we're doing this work, I'm just like, man, like, this is really the person I'm meant to be with because it's 10 o'clock at night and they're sweating with me. And maybe it sounds a little crazy to most people, but it's what we like to do. It's what makes us feel best. And I feel so blessed that I have somebody as crazy as me. I may not be as good as him, but... <laughs> I might be as crazy as she, she hangs in there. She might be crazier than me. <laughs> Maybe a little. But bit. listen, it's it's sometimes you know tomorrow's our, our wedding anniversary, and you know a lot of times people are like, what kind of gift could I get someone? And presence is probably the best thing that you can give someone. It's honestly so valuable. Uh, time is the is really the most valuable thing we can give to someone. So you know next time you're struggling to figure out what to get a, a family member, a friend, uh, your wife. It might be just like an hour of fitness in the garage with her while she's, you know, really pregnant. Over on the assault bike, just sweating it out, <laughs> trying not to pee your pants. This is real life. I told her that to I'm not pregnant, and uh, during my cardio session, I felt like I had to pee my pants. <laughs> Maybe we'll cut this early. I don't know. It's starting to get out of hand. It's late. Uh, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. 34 weeks going on. 35. Uh, this week is kind of all about fitness. I'm just going to show you guys a couple little clips of what my cardio training looks like, what weightlifting looks like, and then what CrossFit Metcons look like. So you'll get a little bit of insight into each of those. Uh, your girl's getting big, both of us. It's getting a little harder to move, but it feels way better when I do, so I'm going to continue doing this is an example of how I would modify like a CrossFit workout. So the workout Scott did is up here on the board. So he did three rounds, five rope climbs, 50 foot handstand walk over obstacles, 15 power snatches, 50 foot handstand walk over obstacles, 15 clean and jerks, 50 foot handstand again, five rope climbs, and then five minute rest in between. Now, obviously, I can't really do any of those movements. So what I'm going to do is way different. So I'm going to do 15 ring rows, 15 push-ups, 20 dumbbell hang snatches, 15 push-ups, 20 dumbbell clean and jerks from the hang, 15 push-ups, and then 15 ring rows. So... I am subbing ring rows for rope climbs, push-ups for handstand walks, and then dumbbell movements instead of the barbell Olympic lifting movements. So yeah, here we go.
eleven thirty. Um, I got into the gym today around nine a.m. Did some admin stuff, and then around like ten forty-five, I did my first workout for the day, which was a nice long bike on the C two. I do intervals of like standing and sitting. Nothing is really high intensity. They are longer workouts, a little bit more volume, but I am always focusing on controlling my breathing and just feeling good moving and sweating. When I was in college and a distance runner, a lot of our training was based off of our breathing and if you could talk while you were running and we just kind of always knew our paces. So I feel like I've really learned my body and how it should feel under different duress. So I think that's helped me a ton throughout pregnancy to just really knowing what I can and cannot do. Really, I use the bike for more cardio endurance and I use the CrossFit workouts for a little more strength and accessory. So that's what it looks like.